I just updated the air quality. Look indices. at all those greens. Green all around for every, not everybody, but almost everybody west of the Cascades is in good shape. So if you're hoping to get out and maybe take a walk or a bicycle ride here shortly, you're in good shape uh, up and down the valley, uh, out along the coast uh, where we're getting that onshore flow, which is helping replenish our air. Uh, yeah, in most cases, we're in good to moderate air quality at this point. Let's look east of the Cascades where, of course, we are still dealing with some residual wildfire smoke. Looks like in the worst case, we're dealing with unhealthy air for sensitive groups out toward Baker City. But besides that, most uh, locations are in the good to moderate category in terms of AQI. Let's go ahead and take it live to Legrand, where it's a pretty cloudy start out there. I'm not seeing too many showers, though, out in northeast Oregon. A cool start with a temperature of 55 degrees out there. Let's head back west to our Shiloh Winds camera in Seaside. This is one of the only spots that I've really been seeing uh, showers falling at. Uh, in points to the north, out toward Astoria, Long Beach, up into Washington, we are still seeing some hit or miss showers. Temperature of 59 degrees at our Shiloh Winds camera in Seaside. And Another live look outside from our Riverview Community Bank camera. We're also at 59 degrees right now, mostly cloudy skies overhead, but I really haven't seen many showers in the metro area. Temperatures are slowly rising at this point. At last check, nobody on this map was in the 60s, but now I'm seeing Vancouver, Troutdale, and Milwaukee sitting at 60 degrees. Everyone else is in the mid to upper 50s. So. What I've been saying all morning is the farther north and west you're located, the better chance you have at seeing a few showers today. So I think the farther north along the coast, Astoria, Tillamook, you have a better chance of seeing showers than Lincoln City and Newport. Temperatures should top out in the low to mid 60s with the southwest wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. In the valleys today, expect highs to top out in the upper 60s and low 70s. I think Kelso and Portland have better chances at showers than McMinnville, Salem, and Albany. Through the gorge, the west side could see a few showers. The east side will be mostly dry with highs in the upper 60s and low 70s up on Mount Hood. We could see a few showers along western facing slopes. Highs will top out in the 50s and 60s, depending on your elevation. Central and eastern Oregon, I think it's going to be a mostly dry day uh, with increasing sunshine and a little bit of residual wildfire smoke with temperatures also topping out in the upper 60s and low 70s. Now, tomorrow, I think will be a couple of degrees warmer around the metro area with drier weather prevailing, and that will be the case Monday and Tuesday as well. By Wednesday, though, rain returns. It will last into Thursday and parts of Friday, dipping high temperatures into the 60s, but overnight lows should remain in the 50s for the next week or so.